40 years ago, people invested in big oil and big cars. In the early 2000s, it was the internet and computer boom. But what sectors are we going to invest in next? I don't even know. Like, <laughs> in this video, we're going to look at four sectors of the future and the ETFs that follow them. But before we go any further, hop in the DeLorean, buckle up, we're headed to 2050. The first area we're going to look at is robotics and AI. This sector focuses on companies dedicated to advancements in AI and machine learning technology. A recent study suggests that the demand for AI products and services will increase by 40% a year, and the global AI market is expected to reach almost a trillion dollars by 2028. As machines learn through AI, they're beginning to solve problems that would otherwise need human intelligence. The fusion of AI and robotics is an essential part of the fourth industrial revolution, which will see exceptional growth in the coming years. This is why having exposure to this technology is a must going forward. Plus, who wouldn't want a robot that tucks you in at night and makes you breakfast in the morning? Let's hang out and get to know each other for a little while. Yeah, I read that wrong. Some of the leading ETFs in this sector we're checking out are GlobalX's Robotics and AI ETF, ticker BOTZ. This fund has a higher expense ratio at 0.68%, but it's holding a 20% average return since it was created in 2016. Of course, they focus on holding industry-leading companies in the robotics and AI sector. Top holdings of note are NVIDIA, of course, but also companies like Intuitive Surgical, which focuses on robotic-assisted surgery innovation. A couple of other ETF options in this category are the iShares Robotics and AI ETF ticker IRBO and Kathy Wood's ARC Autonomous Tech and Robotics ETF ticker ARKQ. This sector hasn't had as much hype as the semiconductor and electric vehicle sectors, obviously. But the future is coming. With this tech being implemented into our lives more and more each day, we wouldn't sleep on robotics and AI. The next sector of the future that we're going to look at is esports and digital entertainment. Did you know that there are over 3.2 billion gamers in the world today? And you're looking at two of them right here. This industry is growing at an incredible rate, and according to a recent survey by Insider Intelligence, more than half of the US population will identify as gamers by the end of the year. Gamers also spent over $44 billion on software and services last year alone. With the future of gaming on the rise, we did a head-to-head -head comparison between two of the best eSport ETFs. These are the Vanek Gaming and Esports ETF ticker ESPO versus the Global X Gaming and Esports ETF ticker HERO, which both have similar expense ratios and returns. Some of the holdings within these ETFs have suffered due to supply chain and chip shortages, but many of these companies are still reporting growth even with the downturn. There is a fair bit of overlap in the holdings, so you'll have to take a deep dive and separate the differences if you're looking to invest in one of these ETFs. A couple of other ETFs in this category are from Roundhill, which are the Bitcraft Esports and Digital Entertainment ETF ticker NERD and the Sports Betting and iGaming ETF ticker BETS. If you're nerdy or you like gambling, one of these could be for you. Moving on, we have fintech and crypto, and this sector is disrupting the legacy banking system. Digital banking apps and robo-advisors are now taking a huge market share away from the brick-and-mortar banks that most of us use today. A recent Gartner CIO survey shows that by 2030, 80% of heritage banking services will go out of business while the rest scramble to adapt. A Vanguard survey also shows that millennials and Gen Zers are twice as likely to use robo-advisors than older Americans. The main reasons for this are convenience, customer service, and lower fees. And it's not hard for new fintech companies to outperform traditional banks in these areas. With that said, we've got two of the top fintech ETFs, with the first one being ARK's Fintech Innovation ETF, ticker ARKF, which has many of the industry leaders in the digital financial space. Top holdings like Square and PayPal are excellent examples as they continue to beat earnings and see growth quarter after quarter. The Global X Fintech ETF ticker FINX is another option that has similar holdings and growth within this sector. The next part of this sector is crypto, and as one of the most volatile investments, many people are still hesitant to invest, but with its massive growth potential, some are eager to learn more. Crypto and blockchain technology can be confusing for investors to figure out, but despite this, research from chain analysis shows that crypto adoption has risen 880% in the last year. If you want to get involved, we've got an option that can give you exposure, 
without as much of the risk of holding crypto assets yourself. Although crypto ETFs haven't been approved in America just yet, they're on the way. In the meantime, we have an ETF that holds all the companies tied directly to blockchain projects, exchanges, and the companies that hold crypto assets. And that is the Bitwise Crypto Industry Innovators ETF ticker BITQ or BITQ. The fund tracks crypto pioneering companies that generate most of their revenue from their crypto business activities. Some of the holdings worth talking about are Coinbase, America's largest crypto exchange, and MicroStrategy, who now holds over 100,000 Bitcoin. BitQ might be worth a look as the crypto market is worth well over $2 trillion now, and the fund has a 25% year-to-date return even with the recent crypto slump. Our last sector is cloud computing and cybersecurity, which has become a vital part of almost every business. This technology allows companies to securely create and share information anywhere in the world instantly. IBM estimates that 81% of all enterprises have a multi-cloud strategy in place and over a thousand cloud apps on average. With so much sensitive data at risk, the need for cybersecurity is crucial. It's hard to pass a day when we don't hear about data or data breaches, whichever way you want to say it. As cyber attacks evolve, so do difficulties in protecting against them. According to IRTC, data breaches this year have already surpassed the totals for 2020. This creates a higher demand for cybersecurity and cloud computing services. And we've got a few ETFs that focus specifically in these areas. Let's start with the First Trust Cybersecurity ETF, ticker CIBR. It has an expense ratio of 0.6% and has returned a yearly average of over 16% since it started in 2015. A couple of other similar ETFs worth looking at are the GlobalX Cybersecurity ETF ticker BUG and the iShares Cybersecurity and Tech ETF ticker IAJK. You'll find many of the same holdings within these funds as they focus on industry leaders within the cybersecurity space. You may have to dive a bit deeper to see which one works best for you. Moving on to cloud computing, we pit two of the biggest funds in this sector against each other which are First Trust Cloud Computing ETF ticker SKYY or SKY and the GlobalX Cloud Computing ETF ticker CLOU. While having been around since 2011, SKY has a slightly lower expense ratio at 60 basis points and has seen an average annual return of over 17% since inception, which is over a decade. CLOU is no slouch either though, with an average yearly return of over 30% while it's only been around for about two years. Both funds focus on huge names within the cloud computing sector, like Akumai Technologies, whose cloud platform powers hundreds of companies that we use daily. A couple of honorable mentions in this sector are the ARC Next Generation Internet ETF ticker ARKW and the Wisdom Tree Cloud Computing Fund ticker WCLD. These are both good ETF options with different holdings. Make sure to do more research if you're looking to invest in these or any of the other ETFs that we've mentioned in this video. We're going to have all the links down below for you guys to check out at your convenience. With that being said, that's all we've got for you this week. I'm Mike. And I'm Max. And we'll see you guys in the future. Doc? We're sending you back to the future.